Hey everybody, what's happening? Son of a Silver Stacker here. In today's numismatic news and information for the 6th day of May, 2022, I'd like to welcome you over to Jam Bullion so we can look at the live spot prices. So it looks like gold is up 637 to 1891.93. Silver down 6 cents to 2269. And platinum is down 2549 to 973.75. And palladium down 4815, 4815 to 22.0235. The in stock. Silver, you're looking at 1029. They keep building up over there at JM Bullion. Now, our next stop is going to be here at coins.net. There's an article written just yesterday by Darren Lee Unzer, dated May 5, 2022. Title of the article is Circulating 2022 Kennedy Half Dollars Released in Rolls and Bags. And this will give a really good snapshot as to the mintages of these particular half dollars. It says here today, May 5, the United States Mint began selling rolls and bags of the 2022 John F. Kennedy half dollars. Honoring the 35th president of the United States, each coin features a portrait of the former president on one side and a rendition of the presidential seal on the other. As uh, a great photograph, great little addition to the flag, Kennedy, the rolls and the bags and the coin. Good job there. It's, uh, offered products are a two roll set, 22 KB for 34.50 and a 200 coin bag, 22 KA for 147. The set contains one roll of 20 coins from the Denver Mint and one roll of 20 coins from the Philadelphia Mint. Now, um, it was an incredible sellout. The bags actually sold out quicker than the rolls did. The bags sold out. Uh, <laughs> it's amazing this year, isn't it? Um, it says the bags sold 100 coins from the Denver Mint and 100 coins from the Philadelphia Mint. All the coins are struck in circulating finishes that have never been released into circulation. The U.S. Mint started producing Kennedy half dollars in 1964, and they were 90% silver shortly after the assassination of President Kennedy. They have been struck annually ever since. Demand for the coins in circulation eventually slowed, generally leading the Mint um, since 2002 to issue them for just numismatic purposes, right? Just for collecting through the Mint's website only, um, like for these rolls and bag products, right? An exception happened last year in 2021 when the Federal Reserve ordered millions of the coins for circulation. Recent mintages for the halves are offered further below. And that's what we're going to show you here is that table. And um, not only in 2021 did the uh, Fed order the um, half dollars for circulation, they did so in 2018 as well. So one even year and one odd year. So that doesn't make any sense there. However, what's to stop the Fed from ordering more half dollars this year, right? So it says your half dollar designs, obverse or head, sides of each dollar, half dollar uh, for Gilroy Roberts, left facing portrait of John F. Kennedy. Hope I said that right. 2022, that's a Philadelphia. Inscriptions around the portrait include Liberty and God We Trust, the year and the mint mark. For this specific release, this means a mint mark of either a P for the Philadelphia Mint or a D for the Denver. Reverse shows Frank Gasparro's modified presidential seal uh, depiction, which features a heraldic eagle with a shield holding uh, an olive branch and a bundle of 13 arrows, right? So peace, olive uh, branch for peace, a uh, bundle of 13 arrows representing the 13 original colonies. Um, this design has appeared annually on the halves except in years 75 and 76 when it was replaced with an image of Independence Hall uh, of Philadelphia in celebration of the Bicentennial Foundation, a founding of the nation. And, and that's right. And so here we're coming up here in four short years in 2026, and we're going to have the semi quincentennial, and they're going to change the design of this again. And will they change it in 2025 in, 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 in gearing up like they did here in 1975 for the... Um, celebration maybe maybe not maybe they'll just drop it in 2076 or 2026 wow that'd be really far away so here we go these are the uh, mintages and it says reverse inscriptions read the united states of america and half dollar it says uh, now the next one this is the table i wanted to talk about 2000 to 2022 circulating kennedy half dollar mintages and i don't know why they stopped there they could have went the whole way but that's all right Recent year production figures for circulating Kennedy half dollars are shown in the table below. As indicated by the chart, 2021 saw a sizable mintage increase as the Federal Reserve ordered, for the first time in many years, millions of the coins for circulation. And I imagine people may still see them in circulation, and that could, I guess, garner some kind of interest from people who aren't... Um, you know, like, oh my gosh, you know, who haven't collected in years and saying, oh my gosh, a Kennedy half dollar. I haven't seen these in circulation since yada yada, right? So um, definitely interesting time. So look at this uh, in 2000, that was 22 years ago, at least 23 years ago now, you're looking at 42 million total mintage. And then they go 40 million the previous, the next year. And then they drop off a cliff, right? Eight times less easily, maybe seven and a half times less. 
So 5.6, 5.0, 2000, 5.8, and so on and so forth. Let's see if we can find the lowest. So there we go. 3.4 is the lowest we can go. How low can you go? 3.45, 3.5, 3.4. Oh, there we go. 3.2. That's this year, 2022. Now, let's find out what's going on here. It says 2022 mintages may not change as half dollar struck for numismatic purposes are typically produced earlier in the year. Of course, maybe um, more may be ordered for circulation, which could alter that final total of 3.2 million. Absolutely, absolutely. We definitely should be aware of that. Um, and not only that, but I, I want to say that um, these were minted in January and the United States Mint hasn't produced or minted any more of the half dollar since january and could they or would they mint more and if they did would it be to the detriment of 2023 yeah very interesting times we are in uh, as for these specific two roll sets and 200 coin bags the u.s mint sales list the following recent year totals so 2019 two roll sets 24,000 2019 200 roll coin bags 11,005 all right and then so on and so forth now um it says here, ordering and limits order Kennedy rolls and bags directly from the Mint's webpage to dedicated to half dollar products here. And um, I'll leave a link in this description for this particular page. Product limits of 22,000 for the two roll set and 11,000 for the 200 coin bags are listed. No household li our limits are in place. And we, when we did the drop yesterday, there was some tremendous, tremendous movements, uh, 500 at a time, 1,000 at a time uh, for some of these numbers. And it was just incredible incredible now let's go to the next item here i know that michael boudreau uh mr mj boudreau um had a um video yesterday and he did another follow-up video for the american innovation one dollar coins rolls and bags from vermont and there was a comment in the in the video from yesterday that i did um that suggested it may have been an impact from another coin and um, i'm like yeah that makes sense and then this video came out, right? So, bam, there it is. This is 2022D American Innovation Vermont Airs Part 2. So, he's found another one. And look at that. That is a, I mean, dude, come on. <laughs> Something's up. This is more than one coin they have found with this kind of air on this. Um, and there's, all, if you look at this video a little bit further, there's a B in there that's um, covered up. But check this out. This is the star. You can easily see this particular star. And it goes underneath that U. So if this was impacted from another coin, it would show on that U right there. Something's up with the Denver minted American Innovation coins from Vermont, folks. Because um, he has found more than one of these. Um, and I'd like to ask him today, how many in total has he found? So let's go and ask ourselves the question. So if they're, they're being found in the 25 coin roll from Denver... For 3450, how many are left, right? So let's go here. Bam, data available, 981. Let's see if that's consistent. Nope, 970. So the last time I looked at this, about 10 minutes ago, uh, well, we went from 981 to 970. So somebody's still buying them up at fairly early in the morning. There it is. Now off to my plus one today. Bam, there it is. It says here, never regret being a good person to the wrong people. Your behavior says everything about you, and their behavior says enough about them. Bam, there it is. Whoops, too much. I went to go to the wrong one. Anyway, next, moving on. Now, this says here, absolutely nothing on the screen. It's, it's blank, it's black. There's nothing going on except for right down here. This is The Damned, Alone Again Or, and it is subtitled in Espanol. So if you're interested in that, check it out. Um, it is a really cool song, really great guitar, and I believe it is a, a cover of a song from earlier in time. So there it is, folks. I want to thank you all for watching. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you're in, see, please subscribe to the channel. It's free. And also, don't forget, we have a good morning to you with Tiny Numismatics coming out today at 9.30 this morning. And we have an auction this evening at the Numistacking Nation at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. Son of a silver stacker. Out.